Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin speaker, which I've had for a couple of days now. Um, yeah, so I've been using it on and off, and I want to give my thoughts on it. Obviously, this is quite a pricey speaker, so this is definitely something you'd want to probably think about before you jump into, well, just buying it. Um, on the Bowers & Wilkins website, it's on for £699, £700. I picked it up for 550 something from Amazon. Um, but yeah, depending, obviously, depending on what sale you can get you can get quite a bit off it but obviously still a very pricey speaker um so yeah you you want you want to make sure you're 100 percent sure what you're that what you're getting is what you need if you see what i mean um and then i'll do another video after this one a comparison with the jbl party box 110 i think is most appropriate um just so you can see from a speaker that's about half the price um you can see what type of gains you'll be getting over that speaker um, obviously just as a comparison as I think that would be quite useful for people looking to spend this type of money. Um, so as far as the design goes, it's very nice. It's probably the best thing about it, obviously, is really is is the premium. It just feels so premium. It looks so premium. It's got a light at the bottom, which you can control in the app, um, like the brightness up and stuff like that. And then it's got another light there, which shows if it's connected to Alexa or not. At the moment, it's not because I've got a different phone connected up, but it is an Alexa smart speaker as well. So it does connect to Wi-Fi through the app and you can use music services and things like Alexa, but I will put the, pop the app up on screen now, and it is, it's a good, very good app, it's good at syncing and it does it all very quickly, but um, you, you've got quite limited options. When you go into the options for the speaker, you've got options to change like the treble and the bass and stuff like that, um, and then options to change the, the if the lights are on or off, and um, the brightness of them and stuff like that, but there isn't really much else, to be completely honest. I guess there isn't really much else you need, but it's quite a simple app. And then uh, you can change the volume of the song that's playing and all that. Um, but then if you try and add a music service, Spotify isn't one of the ones listed on there. There's Deezer and a couple others, like some ones like SoundCloud is on there. But Spotify isn't a service on the app, so you can't use their app with Spotify, which I imagine is what most people are using nowadays. So that is a bit of a strange... I'm not really sure why that is. Um, so you effectively just have to use it as a Bluetooth speaker instead of as a smart speaker in that sense because it's not playing through the Bowers & Wilkins app, which is a bit odd. Presumably it will be added soon, but I, to be honest, I don't know why they've got all those others, but not that one. So that is a bit strange. So around the back here, we've got volume down button, uh, volume up, pause. You've got the kind of like the sharing button and the skipping songs button, stuff like that. Um, a very premium, it is plasticky stuff, but it's very premium. And then, then at the bottom there, you've got your hole for charging, a USB-C port, which is labelled as service, so for updates presumably, and a reset button. So no aux in port, no optical in ports or anything like that. So um, there's no, you couldn't really use this easily with TV or anything like that because it doesn't have much in the way of inputs. Um, I guess if you've got a smart TV, it could somehow be connected like that. But realistically, it's a Bluetooth speaker. That's pretty much the only way to connect to this thing. Um, so obviously take that as you will, depends how you use your speakers, but it is a slightly weird choice by Bowers & Wilkins there, to not even have an aux port. Obviously you've got a little effectively underglow light at the bottom there, which is looking quite nice, and it is a very nice a very nice quality speaker. I think it's 6.8 kilos roughly, so it is quite heavy. Um, obviously it doesn't sound like much, but in this form factor, it's quite awkward to lift up and down, so it really isn't something I would recommend carrying around anywhere. Not that it's going to be, because this is obviously a home speaker. Um, as far as the microphone goes for Alexa, um, I think it seems to be quite good. That's always something I like to test if you're playing music at a decent volume. Um, can Alexa hear you? And in this case, she can quite well, which is quite impressive. Um, so I was quite impressed with that. And obviously I will be playing a sound test for you guys in a minute, but the um, the overall sound quality of this thing is frankly incredible. It's, it's very good and you are getting um, definitely... Um, a gain over cheaper speakers it's not one of those things where you're just getting like the b and o speakers you tend to just get design and not much over in sound from from my experience so far anyway i am looking to get more of those um but in this case you are getting design and and the sound quality is incredible um so i haven't used i haven't changed anything on the app with on this device so it's just standard um bass and treble eqs um and i'm going to play you a snippet from um, the song which has got the links for the copyright in the bio. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, 
We're searching for the lost and found But you don't care, yeah I'm aware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare So that is obviously, um, I mean, I, hope, I really hope it comes out in the video, but that is, it's incredibly loud and it doesn't do any type of distortion or any crackling at all at high volumes. That was about 90% volume and the bass is very deep, not so much thumpy bass as the party boxes seem to have, but it's very deep bass. Um, but mainly just the vocals are so loud, but also they just manage to maintain the clarity um, at any volume level and it is impressive. Um <laughs> In regards to my, I mean, bearing in mind the JBL Party Box 110, which is one of my favourite speakers of all time, hence why I keep comparing things to it, um, is 350-ish new. This is 700, so pretty much exactly half the price, depending on what deals you get at the time, obviously, but easier for us to just say it's half the price. Um, I wouldn't say you're getting double as good quality or sound or anything like that with this speaker, especially seeing as I do lights and party lights, and obviously this doesn't have that, it's just got a bit of an underglow. Um, so including the lights on the party box and even just the sound alone, I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't say you're getting double the value, but if having something that looks a bit more stylish, um, and has Alexa and stuff built in, then you, you really can't, I mean, you're not going to be, you're not going to think you've wasted your money here. You are getting more than you will get with competitors and other speakers that are cheaper. Um, but for me personally, not worth double the price. But honest, obviously, it just depends what you're using it for. As a home speaker, especially compared to the likes of the Sonos 5, which I've reviewed previously, um, I would say this is better. I really would. I think the design is much nicer. I like the fact it's got lights on the on the bottom there. And the fact that you can't see any of the volume buttons or anything from the front. It just looks like a Zeppelin, as it's called. I really like that. And the app is leagues above the Sonos app. Although the Sonos app does have support for Spotify at the moment, whereas this doesn't. But... Overall, I would say this is better than the likes of the Sonos 5, definitely a bit bassier as well. Um, I think it's really good, I honestly do, but obviously you've got to be able to justify that price tag. So, yeah, that's obviously up to the individual, but you're not going to be let down, let's just say that much. Um, I will make another video soon with a comparison for the party box, just for those that may want to see that. Um, but yeah, if you've got any further questions, just pop them down in the comments.